I can use the remote electrical charge to power up or disable generators. comes for me, you're gonna need a lot more guys than this. Get in there or you'll be needing a wheelchair too. Batman's on his way. Stay alert. Why would we need more guys? He's just one man. I'm guessing you never met him. The commissioner's right, we're short on numbers. Where's everyone else? Downstairs in that briefing. What briefing? Something about how to kill the bat. What? He didn't think to invite us? Sorry, Bats. I guess you're not invited. <laughs> Happens all the time, I expect. Hell, Alfred's probably throwing a swinging shindigger go-go in the Bat Cave right now. Anyway, I'm sure a resourceful social outcast such as yourself can find some means of convincing those dopes to open the door. Once the door open. Huh? I thought the bat took him out when he destroyed the tank. Guess not. Let's get these shutters up. He's spoken. Doors open. Get ready. I need to stay within range of the remote control. Any consolation? I'm sure Crane's put old Jimbo out of his misery by now. It's not like he's got anything left to be afraid of. Not since they sent his little girl on the stairlift to heaven. I was wondering, where do super villains head off to once they've taken a battering? I would know, of course, since you never bested me. But do you think Arkham Knight's hanging out in some tacky dive bar right now, splashing glasses of cheap whiskey all over that masked face?
How many more bones will you crush? How many lives will you destroy in the pursuit of your crude justice? We are all products of our fears. I look at you and see a man born of violence and darkness. Their leader is wearing an explosive vest. I need to neutralize him first. I repeat, not in the helping him business. Our training, training personally designed by the Arkham Knight, gives us the tactical advantage here. How does he know so much about Batman? Why don't you stay back after this briefing and we'll go see him? You can ask him personally. Who cares? I'm not scared of Batman. You put me in a room with him and I'll tear his head off. That is why you will fail. He won't come at you straight on. He'll watch you. He'll from the shadows, and when you make a mistake, he'll be ready. If you need an example of how to act, look no further than right here. There is no way that he'll get near me. Whoa! These guys are packing more firepower than Penguin. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That weapons crate is crying out to be tampered with. What good would that be against the man who doesn't use guns? No. This vest offers a whole different kind of protection. What kind of protection? Should I be rendered unconscious while wearing this baby? It explodes. You're wearing a suicide vest? You're crazy! Don't you get it? Batman doesn't kill. Not even indirectly. With this thing on, that pacifist crybaby can't touch me. <laughs> he wouldn't be able to live with the guilt. Besides, didn't I say I'm testing this out for the night? None of you cowards have to wear one. So, let's review our other tactics. Medics. Some of you have been trained in a number of field medical techniques, most notably revival. This is where others have failed. If we maintain our numbers, the Batman will fall. Value the medics. They save your life. Next up, sentry guns. Now you're talking! These automated assault cannons will provide cover. When you're told to place one, you place it fast. 
It will protect you from attack and make one hell of a noise if he comes at you from that direction. Remember, he may be smart, he may be difficult, but he is human. You fire enough bullets into him, and he'll bleed like anyone else. The automated cannon will lay down suppressing fire and destroy anything within its targeting volume. Your weapons will not. Remember, target the areas you've been trained to target, the legs, the shoulders. Again, do not waste time on the chest. That symbol is designed to focus your attention where his armor is thickest. What's next? Vantage points. Batman uses key architectural objects to his advantage. He can quickly access these points. Think gargoyles, think wires, think where would I hide if I was that sneaky son of a bitch and you'll probably be right. The Arkham Knight has developed a number of solutions to counter these attacks. First one's easy. Destroy the vantage points by shooting them. Simple and effective. Want to stop him from using the other vantage points? Target them with a sticky mine and watch your heads when they blow. When Batman loses the space above you, he'll be forced into the ventilation system. Stop him by deploying thermobaric charges. Fill the vent with gas and burn the bastard. By utilizing these assorted techniques, we can keep him moving and out in the open. Now, let's focus on what Batman will bring to the party. As you know, that suit of his hides a billion dollars of high-tech equipment. Surveillance systems scan the room to help him pick the correct strategy. These systems contain a unique, identifiable signal that we can track. When he uses these systems, we will pinpoint his location and take him down. Any questions? Yeah. You do know that there's no way in hell any of us are wearing suicide vests, right? If you don't want the safety and comfort that only 30 pounds of high-quality explosives strapped to your stomach can provide, then that's your risk to take. But make no mistake, this will be difficult. You are all hand-picked, the best of the best. Study these images, use these tactics, and we will prevail. So what do you think, ladies? My money's on the Batman. Though you could say I have a vested interest. Those boys have really done their homework. Where do you think they're getting their intel? <gasps> you think Barbara told them? Oh, those sidekicks of yours. A teeny tiny bit of torture, and they're all, please make it stop. I'll tell all Batman's secrets. <laughs> Gordon's just beyond that wall. I'm going to need the Batmobile to destroy it and reach him. If I can lower the car on top of that drilling machine, 
I might be able to move it down to this level. <laughs> 